With the Lucky Land Slots, you can get lucky just about anywhere. This is your captain speaking. Uh, we've got clear runway and the weather's fine, but we're just going to circle up here a while and uh, get lucky. No, no, nothing like that. It's just these cash prizes add up quick. So I suggest you sit back, keep your tray table upright, and start getting lucky. Play for free at LuckyLandSlots.com. Are you feeling lucky? No purchase necessary. Void where prohibited by law. 18 plus terms and conditions apply. See website for details. Judy was boring. Hello. Then Judy discovered Jumbacasino.com. It's my little escape. Now Judy's the life of the party. Oh, baby. Mama's bringing home the bacon. Whoa. Take it easy, Judy. <laughs> The Chumba Life is for everybody. So go to ChumbaCasino.com and play over a 100 casino-style games. Join today and play for free for your chance to redeem some serious prizes. ChumbaCasino.com. No purchase necessary. Void where prohibited by law. 18 plus terms and conditions apply. See website for details. Oh, it's the life of Riley when it's Pat's Blue Ribbon you drink. The finest beer served anywhere, so let the glasses clink. Oh, east or west or north or south, there's nothing like it at all. Yes, you're living the life of Riley when for Pat's Blue Ribbon you call. When for Pat's Blue Ribbon you call. Pabst Blue Ribbon, finest beer served anywhere. Proudly presents The Life of Riley, starring William Bendix as Riley. <laughs> Human beings are improvident creatures, heedless of the future. And thus, banks in this country have had to devise painless inducements for thrift. One of these is the Christmas Club, whereby you deposit a small sum every week for 52 weeks, and then just before Christmas, you go to the teller's window, present your Christmas Club book, and withdraw your savings in a lump sum, which enables you to buy Christmas presents for your friends, who, on receiving them, will exclaim, Ah, what a cheapskate. Standing in line now at the teller's window is Chester A. Riley, who joined the Christmas Club 52 weeks ago. Mrs. Medbury? Yes, that's right. Here you are, $104. I'll take it in 20s. Uh, 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, and 1, 2, 3, 4. Thank you. Merry Christmas. Same to you. Mr. Roberts? J.J. Roberts. $150, right? Right. I'll take it in 20s. 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, 20, 40, and 10 is 50. Merry Christmas. Thanks. Same to you. Who's next? Uh, me. Riley's the name. May I see your passbook? Passbook? I think I got it. Oh, yeah, here. Hmm. You get two dollars. I'll take it in twenties. <laughs> two dollars. You only made one deposit all year. Is that all? Well, I, I thought I made... Uh, I guess it slipped my mind. Uh, only two dollars. Huh? I'm afraid that's all. But what about interest? Ha, ha, ha. That's what I thought. Well, I'll take the two dollars. Just a minute. There's a seventy-five cent charge for the passbook. Oh. Well, okay. I'll just seventy-five cent penalty for failure to make a minimum of ten weekly payments. Oh. Well, okay. I'll, and I'll a just... seventy-five cent service charge for mailing notices. Okay. Okay. Just give me. You owe us twenty-five cents. <laughs> oh, I owe you. T... No wonder on the window it says ten billion dollars reserve. <laughs> Now I know where you get it from. Mr. Riley, you... All right, all right, here's your quarter. Thank you. Merry Christmas. Ah, the same to you. Come on, Riley. Now let's get this shopping list finished. Uh, later, Peg. But there's only a few days left till Christmas. Oh, I hate last-minute shopping. Yeah, everything is gone and all you can buy is junk. Now, come on, Riley. You write the list. Oh, okay, but let's try not to go overboard on presents this year. I, I ain't a millionaire, you know. But we got the Christmas club money. Uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, yes, thank goodness. You know, dear, that was a wonderful idea of yours. Yeah, it was a wonderful idea. <laughs> Don't forget Babs and me chipped in every week. And a good thing, too. It'll teach you a lesson in thrift. Yeah, it'll teach them a lesson, all right. <laughs> How much have we got in the club? Huh? Oh, about... We uh, should have $104. Yeah, we should have. <laughs> More or less. Well, what about the interest? Ha, ha, ha. Don't count on interest. Well, did you withdraw the money from the bank? Well, no, not, not yet. Well, uh, don't forget. Do it tomorrow. This will be the first Christmas we won't have to watch every penny. I think I'll go for a walk. <laughs> now, wait a minute. 
minute, dear. We got to do this list. Oh, yeah. Well, let's see now. First, the Morrises. What do you think they'd like? I mean, they're both crazy about tennis. Well, how about giving them a tennis ball? <laughs> Don't be ridiculous. A tennis ball only costs 60 cents. Well, it ain't the gift. It's the thought behind it. I know what to get him. Trudy's redecorating her dining room. We'll get her something for the table, maybe. How about a nice box of toothpicks? <laughs> oh, stop clowning. Who's clowning? They're made of the finest lumber. <laughs> Look, Riley, we can get along without you. You go for your walk. We'll drop this list alone. Well, just go easy. Don't make that list too long. What are you worrying about? The big trick is to shop wisely. Yeah. You'll be surprised what we can do with that Christmas club money. Yeah, I'll be surprised, all right. Gillis! Oh, Gillis! Yeah, Ronnie? Are you home? Yeah, I'm home in here, Ronnie. Oh. Oh, hi, Gillis. Oh, you're trimming your tree, huh? Yeah, hand me some of them there bells there, will you? Where? Oh, these? Yeah, thanks. I get a big kick out of trimming a tree. Yeah, it's a lot of fun. Listen, Gillis, Nothing old pal. like Christmas, you know. Yeah, sure. Look, I... Sort of get you, you know what I mean? Inside of you. You feel good. Yeah, I know. Look, I... Warm. I... You, you kind of have a glow inside. Yeah, yeah. Look, I'm in a spot. Goodwill I... toward man. Now, that ain't no baloney. On Christmas, I really look at people different. Gillis, what I'm getting at People is... ain't just people anymore. They're my brothers. And I'm filled with the spirit of giving. Well, I'm glad you feel that way, you see. I feel like stopping some bum on the street, some bum, and holding out my hand and saying, Brother, take everything I got. Gillis, can you lend me $100? I feel like it, but I don't do it. <laughs> Why encourage bums? Well, look, Gillis, I got to have some dough. Get lost, will you? You're turning me down, your best friend... You just said you'd give to a bum. Well, with a bum, I got a 50-50 chance of getting it back. With you, I know I won't. <laughs> well, it's only for a couple of days. I'll be getting my Christmas bonus from the boss at the plant. Come on, uh, just 60, uh, 50 bucks, huh? Where am I going to get that kind of a dough? Two days before Christmas, I'm broke. Well, I got to get hold of some dough. Pe Peg is home now, right now, a list of stuff to buy. Hey, didn't you? Yeah, last year you told me you joined up with a Christmas club. What happened? I didn't pay my dues, so they kicked me out of the club. Yeah. Please, Gillis, ju just loan me 40 bucks. I'm begging you. Look, Riley, if there's one thing I can't stand, it's a grown man begging. Don't beg. Do what any other self-respect a married man would do. Hock something of your wife's. <laughs> Wife? Yeah, jewelry, you know, a uh, wedding ring. Oh, how much could I get on Peg's wedding ring? It only costs $5 to start with. <laughs> Only five dollars? Yeah, that's all she paid for it. <laughs> oh, ain't she got no other jewelry? No, she ain't got... Hey, wait a minute. She, she's got an old brooch of her grandmother's. Yeah, wait anything? Well, it's supposed to be. It's a real antique. She never wears it. Oh, but what's the use of talking? If I pawn it, she'll find out. She don't have to know. You mean take it and not tell her? Why, why that's stealing. No, nothing doing. You won't be stealing. Just bury it when she ain't looking. No, I can't do that to pay. Just for a few days. When you collect your bonus, you can redeem it and put it back. Yeah. Yeah, that's right, just for a few days. And I'm really doing it for the sake of the family. You can't call that stealing. It's really borrowing. Sure, it's just a loan, that's all. Well, sure, you might say I'm just liquidating hidden assets. I'm just transferring the collateral, kind of fiscal fiduciary. <laughs> that's right. Well, what are we waiting for? Let's go steal that brooch. <laughs> Should be here somewhere. You sure she ain't wearing it? Nah, she never wears it. It's too fancy. It's somewhere in this bedroom. Better hurry up and find it. Yeah, Peg will be home soon. Did you look in this here drawer here? Well, how can I? It's locked. Dope. That's where it must be. Yeah? Well, I ain't got the key. Well, pull on it. These locks ain't strong. Oh. Oh, this one is. Let me try. Uh. There. Now, look what you've done. It's splintered. You can glue it back later. Look for the brooch. Uh, should be in here. Yeah, here it is. Yeah, that's it. Hey, it's got diamonds. Oh, sure, this is the real thing. That's Peg. Oh, I'm so tired I can drive. I've never seen a 
this door is so crowded. Let's get out of here. Not that way. She'll see us, sir. The window. B- but the room, it's all a mess. We'll clean it later. Get going. Come on, open the window. I can't. It's, it's stuck. Let me try. <laughs> Look what you've done. You'll fix it later. <laughs> She hate us. Out the window. Come on. Hurry, hurry. Well, it sounded like it came from the bedroom. Now run for it. Why, I could have sworn I heard... Bam. <gasps> Look at this room. Oh, looks like a cyclone went through it. Well, well, someone smashed that window. And this drawer's been forced. Is anything missing? Oh, well, let's see. <gasps> My brooch. Oh. I kept it here. Oh, Babs, we've been robbed. It's gone. Oh, that must have been the burglar we heard. Oh, why wasn't your father here? What are you going to do, Mother? I'm calling the police. How much do you think you can lend me on it? Well, let's see now. It's it's a real antique. It belonged to my wife's grandmother. And the setting's old-fashioned. So is my grandmother. <laughs> it's worth around a thousand dollars, huh? Well, it's got some good stones in it. Well, it's probably worth fifteen hundred. Well, not quite. I'll give you a hundred dollars. I'll take it. Peg. Peg. She's out. I better clean up the bedroom. Oh, oh, it's you, Riley. Hank. I didn't uh, hear you come in. Riley, we were robbed. Robbed? Well, now, well, now don't be silly. My brooch is gone. Well, maybe you mislaid it. Oh, no, no, it was stolen. I heard the thief. Now, Peg, believe me, we weren't robbed. Oh, Riley, use your eyes. Look at this room. Clothing all over the place, pulled out of the drawers. Yeah, it's, uh, yeah those California moths, uh, uh, Riley, this is no joke. We were robbed. Well, well. Oh, that reminds me. Here's the money from the Christmas club. Oh, never mind that now. I tell you, we were robbed. and You act as if it's something that happened every day. Yeah, that's right. I should do something. And, and don't you worry. I will. You leave it to me, Peg. Well, where are you going? I'll handle this. Who are you phoning? Hello, Gillis talking. Hello. Oh, it's you, Ray. Police headquarters. What, are you nuts? Don't call the police. Officer, I want to report a robbery. Since when does a crook report his own robbery? <laughs> a brooch was stolen from Chester A. Now, Riley, 1313 13, Blueview up. Terrace. I, I already called Peg, the I can't police. hear a word they you're say... saying. Wait, I'm through phoning. But, Riley... Now, look, Sergeant. Riley, you go on for You joint. catch that crook in 24 hours. Goodbye. Riley, why don't you listen to me? I told you oh, that uh, I... Just a minute, Peg, the door. Good evening. I'm Sergeant Henderson, police headquarters. What a department. They certainly moved fast ever since the shakeup. <laughs> Riley, I called the police before you got here. Oh. Mrs. Riley? Uh, yes. We believe we found your brooch. Is this it? Oh, yes. Where did you get it? The thief pawned it only an hour ago. Did you catch him? Not yet. <laughs> What's that? I said, not yet. No, but we will. The pawnbroker gave us a very good description. He did? I have a hunch it might be someone in the neighborhood. Oh, no, no, it couldn't be. This is a nice, respectable neighborhood. Well, anyway, I'd like to give you his description. Uh, You may remember seeing him around. He's about five foot ten. Five foot ten. (laughs) Riley, what are you doing on your knees? uh, (laughs) I'm looking for something. Blue eyes... How can you look for something with your eyes closed? Blonde hair. I'm looking for my hat. It's on your head. Thank heaven for that. Oh, what's the matter with you? He weighs about 170. He said his grandmother gave it to him. Never mind. I know who it is. You do? Chester Riley. Now, wait a minute, Peg. I can explain the whole thing. I don't quite understand. Riley. I I just borrowed it just for a few days. I needed the money. I... I didn't want you to find out there's no money in the Christmas club, so... Oh, no! No, I take that back! What? No. But, but every week we all gave you money. Yeah, well, I borrowed that, too. You borrowed that, too? Okay, Sergeant, I'll go quietly. Take me to jail. 
Well, if Mrs. Riley prefers charges, uh, Mrs. Riley? No. No charges. I'll handle this in my own way. <laughs> well, in that case, uh, good night, ma'am. Well, Sergeant, wait. Chester Riley, when I get through with you... Sergeant, come back. As a taxpayer, I demand that you arrest me. I'm entitled to protection. <laughs> Blue Ribbon will bring you the second act of The Life of Riley in just a moment. Tick, tock, tick, tock. Every time the clock ticks, thousands of people north, south, east, west are buying a bottle of Pabst Blue Ribbon. And that, my friend, goes on 24 hours a day, 365 days a year. No, it's not my purpose to impress you with the arithmetic of Pabst Blue Ribbon's popularity. I merely want to register this one point. All of those bottles of Pabst Blue Ribbon every second of the day, are exactly alike. And I'm speaking about the beer, not the bottles. It's exactly alike in taste, exactly alike in flavor, exactly alike in color, exactly alike in quality. Taste it. Know wherever you go, you hear it called and called for as the finest beer served anywhere. You hear it everywhere, finest beer served anywhere. And now, back to The Life of Riley, starring William Bendix as Riley with Paula Winslow and John Brown. Craig! Babs! Oh, well, you're eating already. I'm sorry I'm late for supper. I stopped in at that stool pigeon. I, I mean, pawnbroker, and, and redeemed the... Here's your brooch, okay? Well, take it. Come on, Peg, you... I'll put it in your purse. Okay, okay. You don't have to tear my hand off. Put it in yourself. I wasn't going to take anything. Oh, might as well sit down and eat. What's for supper, Peg? Uh, what are you eating there, Junior? <laughs> Is that pot roast, Babs? Well, you might answer me when I talk to you. Fine thing, I come into my own house and nobody says a word to me. Not even hello. I'm the head of this house and I insist that somebody say hello. Hello. That's better. <laughs> no, no, you have the wrong number. Now look here, Peg, I'm entitled to some respect. Respect? You want respect after what you did? Well, I just took the brooch. So I'm not talking about the brooch. But Babs and Junior trusted you. Every week they gave you their nickels and dimes. We saved it out of our allowance. Well, who gave you your allowance anyway? Mom did. Just wanted to make sure you knew. We trusted you, Daddy. And you took their money and, and stole it. I didn't steal it. No? Well, what would you call it? Embezzlement? <laughs> I really meant to deposit the money. I, I just borrowed it. And I would have put it back, only Christmas came so sudden this year. <laughs> Some Christmas. No presents. Yeah, we got a tree and nothing under it. What will people think? Well, is that all you care about? What people think? My boss will be dropping in Christmas morning to hand me my bonus check. How will it look? Well, whose fault is it? That's beside the point. We got to do something. Just don't try pawning the furniture. <laughs> oh, I'll think of something. I ain't going to have no naked tree in my house. Hi there, Riley. Oh, hi, Muley. Merry Christmas. Yeah, same to you. So long. Merry Christmas. Fine Christmas I'm having. I'd have a merrier Christmas if I was in Forest Lawn. Would you care to bet? Huh? It is I, Digby O'Dell, the friendly undertaker. Oh, I didn't recognize you, Digger. What are you doing dressed up as Santa Claus? Well, I do this every year. Uh -huh. I solicit contributions for the UEPJYS. 
U-E-P-J-Y-S. The Undertakers, Embalmers, and Forebearers, Jolly Yuletide Society. <laughs> Charity, you know. Our slogan is, help a body get on its feet. <laughs> I stand on the corner here and I ring my little bell. Listen. <laughs> That's very jolly. I see you've been doing a lot of shopping. No. Oh, you mean these boxes? There's nothing in them. You, you got any empty boxes, Digger? No. Every box down at my place is filled. <laughs> I'm giving away a lot of gifts this year. Why do you need boxes? Oh, just an idea I got. I, I think I have enough. Well... I'd better get on home. Merry Christmas, Digger. The same to you and a happy new year. I wish you happiness, prosperity, and a long life. And believe me, I don't say that to everyone. <laughs> well, cheerio. I'd better be shoveling off. I'm in the living room, Peg. Well, what are you doing? Riley, what are those packages? Uh, presents for the family. Well, where did you get the money well, don't to... don't get excited. There's nothing in them. <laughs> but they're wrapped so beautifully. I did it. I, I bought some paper and ribbon. If people drop in and see all these boxes, they'll think it's presents. They, they won't know it's really empty. <laughs> that's using my head, huh? And that's empty, too. <laughs> I guess it is, only it ain't wrapped as pretty. <laughs> Riley. Oh, Mom. Hey, look at all the presents. Oh, where'd they come from? But don't get excited, children. They're empty boxes. But they got tags with writing on them. That's right. I, I always say if you do a thing, do it right. <laughs> this one here's from you, Peg, to me. It's supposed to be an electric blanket. <laughs> the card says, To my darling husband, may this keep him as warm as my burning love for him. <laughs> Brother. And this one here says, To the best daddy in the world from his love and children. Cute, eh? Well, it's just an idea. <laughs> this one here is for you, Junior. Gee, that's a funny-looking package. So long and thin. It's supposed to be a baseball bat. Oh, I wanted a football. I'll make it a football. <laughs> uh, and this here is for you, Peg. Both of them. I, I got two boxes for you. It was very generous of you card says to my loving wife, a merry, merry Christmas. Well, Riley, what are you crying about? That's the way I am. I get so much joy out of giving. <laughs> what time is it, Peg? Half past eleven. You better go and eat some breakfast. I ain't hungry. Stevenson should be here by now. Maybe he's not coming this year. He better come. I'm counting on that bonus. Well, why are you all sitting there looking at me like that? It's a fine Christmas morning. Everybody's sitting around like it's my funeral. Hey, here comes your boss, Pop. That's his car. Huh? Yeah, that's it. I told you he'd show up. Now smile, will you? All of you. Remember, it's Christmas. And... <laughs> Merry Christmas, boss. Merry Christmas, Riley. Come in. Come in. Merry Christmas, everybody. Oh, Merry, Merry Christmas, Mr. Stevenson. My, what a beautiful tree. Look at all those beautiful packages. Say, hey, you haven't opened them yet. Uh, well, no. <laughs> we, we, we didn't get around to it. Well, yet. what are we waiting for? Let's open them. No, no. <laughs> Come on, Riley. I love to open presents. No, don't. Please, Peg. T t yes, let's open them. Oh. <laughs> hey, Riley. This big one's for you. This is yours, Junior. Here's yours, Babs. Well, go on, Riley. Open it. Huh? Yeah, I guess that's better. Well, look at that. An electric blanket. Yeah, it's an electric blanket. An electric blanket? <laughs> but how... I, I can't understand. How did... How, how could you do this? What for? Beautiful handbag. Oh, thanks, Riley, darling. Yeah, but yesterday they were empty and... Holy smoke, I never believed it, but there is a Santa Claus. Oh, yes. Well, how else did it... Oh, Peg. Peg, you, you went and... Oh, Dumplin', you filled... Oh, you're sweet. 
Well, I've got to be running along now, folks. Goodbye. No, wait, 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 wait. What? Yes? <laughs> did, did, didn't you forget something? Well, let's see. Coat, hat, gloves, cane. Oh, I've got everything. Well, no, goodbye. wait a minute. No, I, I didn't mean that. I, I meant to wait for the, well, it's Christmas. If you, you know, Christmas. <laughs> oh, 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 of course. Stupid of me. Merry Christmas. <laughs> What a cheapskate. A whole year I slave for him, and he don't even give me a bonus. I was counting on the bonus. Not for myself. I, I wanted to give it all to you, Dumplin'. Just goes to show you can't depend on nobody except your family. Oh, it was, it was wonderful what you'd done, Peg, surprising me like this. I don't know where you got that money to buy all... <laughs> Peg, you, you didn't... The bo- not, not, not my bonus. You, you didn't take. <laughs> Mom sure put one over on you, Pop. She got the bonus from your boss yesterday. You stole my bonus. <laughs> what? You embezzled my bonus. I what? You borrowed my bonus, and you're welcome to it. Merry Christmas. <laughs> Merry, Merry Christmas, Christmas dear. <laughs> just a moment, Riley will return. There is still time for you last-minute Christmas shoppers to buy a welcome gift for the beer drinkers on your list. Tomorrow morning, pick up a couple of Pabst Blue Ribbon Handy Six cartons. Then when somebody says, oh, we forgot all about a gift for Uncle George, you'll have a Christmas package already wrapped and covered with gay holiday decorations. What's inside? Six regular-sized cans of Pabst Blue Ribbon. Finest beer served anywhere. Ask your dealer tomorrow for the Handy Six. I'll tell you one thing, Peg. What happened this Christmas taught me a lesson. I should think so. We won't have no trouble with our Christmas fun next year. Uh, this next year, I was thinking we'll, we'll, we'll save $3 a week. Huh? Oh, Thanks, that's yeah. wonderful. Okay, idea. now let's shell out for the first deposit. Here's my dollar. Oh, here's my 50 cents. Here's mine. And here's my dollar. Fine. Now, first thing tomorrow, I'll go to the bank and open it. Hey, Peg, wait, wait a minute, Peg. What are you taking that money for? I'll put it in the bank. This time, we'll keep it right here in the cream jug, where I can keep an eye on it. <laughs> well, what's the matter with you, Peg? Don't you trust banks? <laughs> Folks, this is Riley, alias William Bendix. All of us, Peg, Babs, Junior, and Digger, are happy to be with you in this warm and wonderful holiday season. You've all been good friends, all you folks everywhere, in the big cities and the little towns and the farms and the ranches all over the USA. Yes, and the boys who are all over the world tonight in uniform. We're thinking of you and hoping you'll be home soon. Our sponsors, the makers of Pabst Blue Ribbon, join us in wishing you, wherever you are, a Merry Christmas. It's a real thrill to be able to send a holiday greeting to so many people all at once. So let me say again to the friends of the Rileys and Pabst Blue Ribbon everywhere, a very Merry Christmas. Oh, it's the life of Riley when it's Pabst Blue Ribbon you drink. The finest beer served anywhere, so let the glasses clink. Oh, east or west or north or south, there's nothing like it at all. Yes, you're living the life of Riley when for Pabst Blue Ribbon you call. When for Pabst Blue Pabst Blue Ribbon invites you to join us again next week to hear The Life of Riley, starring William Bendix as Riley. The Life of Riley is produced by Irving Brecker by arrangement with Universal International Pictures, now releasing South Sea Sinner, starring Shelley Winters and McDonald Carey. Tonight's script is by Reuben Shipp and Alan Lipscott. Mrs. Riley is Paula Winslow. Digger O'Dell is John Brown. Babs is Barbara Eiler. Junior is Bobby Ellis. And Mr. Stevenson is Alan Reed. Consult your local paper for the correct time of the Life of Riley show on television over NBC each week. Next, it's Jimmy Durante with Don Amici on NBC. Nice buns. Soft, fluffy, and ultra-low-net carbs. Discover Hero Bread. 
the delicious, ultra-low net carb bread with incredible taste and texture. Hero Bread has zero grams of sugar and is under 100 calories per serving, plus high in fiber with 5 to 10 grams of protein per serving. Available on Amazon.com, Walmart.com, and at Hero.co. That's H-E-R-O dot C-O. Delicious, ultra-low net carb Hero Bread buns and tortillas. Soft and fluffy, high in fiber, and with zero grams of sugar, up to 10 grams of protein, coming in at under 100 calories. Order today at Hero.co and use the code AH10 to get 10% off your first purchase. That's AH10 at Hero.co, H-E-R-O dot C-O. Order from Hero.co now and get 10% off your first purchase with promo code AH10. That's 10% off with code AH10, H-E-R-O dot C-O. David's Bridal, where brides and bridesmaids get fabulously dressed. We let our friends pick out what we wear, show off our dance moves, obsess over every little detail, hold your hand through it all, smile bravely when it's time to let go, make your dreams come true. The things we do for love, only at David's Bridal. 